Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. And we are still with the Curse of the Frankenfish, and we're continuing on with the missions. I'm still working on the Ghost Pike mission. This, that one's going to take a while, but we can continue on with other missions so that you can at least see what you have to do to move forward in this game. So what we're going to do here, now we're going to go on to the Everglades because there's actually two missions that we can take part in here. Uh, the first of which is the Albano Yeti Gills. Uh, you catch, catching a monster fish is quite a task, but catching an albino monster fish is an even bigger challenge. Head over to the Everglades at night for your next magic ingredient and get some gills from Albino Yeti. Now you have to equip a specific type of hook this hook is called the Vulture Claw. Now you can either pick these up from the pumpkins that are lying around or the tombstones. And if you have to break down, you can purchase them from the shop. But at this moment, I think they cost a little bit of gold, but they're not real seriously expensive. And the next part of that mission is you have to catch 13 of these guys using the bait called the Pig's Eye. Now, I've already got this set up here. I already had some of these, so I didn't have to get any of them from the last event. So, what we're going to be doing in the beginning, since nighttime starts at 9 p.m., we're going to fish for these guys to start off with, because the next mission, you have a more of a limited time. And that is the Jar of Fish Eyes mission. The second ingredient of the summoning potion are fish eyes taken from a bowfin that it was caught after midnight using a roach spoon as bait. This is the frankenfish's favorite snack and will definitely get his attention. So hurry up and catch enough bowfin before the sun rises at 5 a.m. So yes, you have a more limited time. So we're going to get the albano yet yeti gills first then the jar of fish eyes after midnight. Hopefully we'll get enough of the others before then. I'm sure it's going to take more than one night to complete these. But you have to catch 13 of the bow fins. And the particular lure you got to use is called the roach lure. And it's pretty much what it looks like. It's a roach spoon shaped like a, like a cockroach. Kind of disgusting. But anyway, <laughs> not like so many things are not disgusting in this particular game at this point but anyway we can complete two of those right there in the Everglades so let's see if we can't get some of that knocked out right there all right guys we are here in the Everglades and one thing I just you know really was starting to think about here we could actually apply these this vulture claw and the um, pig's eyes to the bottom rods as well so we could actually try to do this at the same time. I'll start off the initial part of the night float fishing and then go to the lure fishing for the others while those are still in the water. Well we could at least try it. Maybe you can only float fish but we're going to test it out anyway. But we're going to come over here to the lily pad channel. It seems like the best place because it's usually where I catch gar and bowfin most often under normal conditions. So but if that doesn't work, we'll come over here to the floating thickets. That's also another great place for the bowfin. So let's go ahead with the lily pad channel. Yeah, if I'm in a uh, public room, I want to leave that chat thing up. But right now it's kind of blocking things. So I think it'd be better just to go ahead and do that. Well, let me go ahead and advance this to 9 p.m. All right, now we can get our rod pot out here. Let's see what we can do about these albino yeti watch jiggers. Let's see here. I think we'll toss one right out here. Toss another one right out in front of us. And then I'll get my float rod out here and we'll see if anything bites over here. 
Definitely need to take the tension down off that old way mat. That is way too deep. Forgot I had the lead on. Probably take it about 25. If these are gar or type of gar, they will go after it in fairly shallow water. Well, looks like we've already got a bite. Number two. Of course, this could be just a catfish. Yep, it is. <laughs> well, that's going to happen. Let's try a little closer to that area there. Okay, that's big, whatever it is. Yeah, that's big. That's probably what we're after here, guys. This is big. Yep, this is it. He's going to make me work for it. So I got to get 13 of these? Damn. Okay, I don't think I need to put the tension up any more than it is. Oh, and I've got one on the other one. All right, hold on. Let's see if we can't get this one in a little bit quicker here. I don't even know how that one got on there, but... I don't think these are going to be too hard to catch. Well, it'll be fairly hard to get in. <laughs> Wow, these guys are tough. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and grab the other one for a second. See if I can advance that. He's had time to wear himself out. And I might end up losing one of them, but... Jeez, these guys are huge fish. All right, that helped a little bit. Not too much. Okay, guys, we might have him this time.
There we go. There's the first one. Albino Yeti Gar. That is a big fish, guys. And we still got two of them. We got two of them on each one of them. Let me get a picture of him first before we go any further here. That's what we're talking about here, guys. That is what we're talking about. We'll keep him. So I got a gold for that one. Looks like I lost that one. And I still have. He's been out there just roaming around for about 20 minutes. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's pretty worn out. Yeah, if you can grab it, somebody told me that if you can pick up the rod and fight him for a little while, they usually don't get off the hook. So that is something that you can do. I just did have time to get that other one. Let's get this up before he pulls one of his tricks. There we go. There's the second one. 2548. That's a lot of cash, guys. Yeah, he even has the pink or red eyes. Well, we're going to have to recast this one here. That's two out of the 13, so really, those aren't too bad. I mean, you got to fight them for a while, but they're not hard to find. Not hard at all, actually. I'm already getting a bite. So I caught it right there, right there, and over here as well. So pretty much anywhere. We got another one, and it is what we're after for sure. Now he's going to take it. That's kind of inevitable. Jeez, it's a big fish. He just keeps taking it. Looks like that one now. Let's go ahead and grab that one so we can at least get... The Oh my god, now I got that one too. It's three fish all at the same time. <laughs> That's a weird sight. Yeah, they're going to muscle their way in the beginning. Holy crikeys, look at that rod. <laughs> I 
No, he's not quite tired yet. There's one of them. 24, 16, 53 pounds. Let's try this one out for a while. Yeah, you just gotta let them wear themselves out. Until they do, you're just gonna be letting them take line. Yeah, this one's a tough one. He's really been hanging in there. And there's that one. 54 pounds, 24.88. And then this one. Ooh, Insomniac. Kept fishing night time to complete this challenge. Two gold. <laughs> Okay, I think this is going to be the biggest one so far. Yeah, I think he's finally gotten himself somewhat worn out. He's still got some gumption, I tell you. Damn. Keeps taking it out over 100 feet. There he goes again. Yeah, I'll probably make one last hurrah. Yep. And he's trying right now as we speak. There he is, finally. Jeez. 26, 34, 58. Yeah, he was a little bit bigger than the others. Let me tell you, these guys are not easy to get. That's 5 of the 13 decontaminator. Catch a certain number of fish using bottom tackle. It looks like I'm getting all kinds of challenges completed too on top of everything else. And we're still not to midnight. We've got almost half. Yeah, the only thing I'm concerned about is, is my neck going to get filled up? <laughs> well, he is going to run with it. He's 
so far nothing on the other ones. Up there is the next one. All right, let's let that one wear himself out. I don't think this is one. I think this might be a catfish. Yep. Yeah, they're going to go for that bait, too. There we go. 6-1. He wasn't as big as some of the others. Good thing, too. He still counts. Look at those choppers. I'm kind of surprised I haven't gotten any off of this. Might need to cast it out just a little farther. Oh, looks like we got our, us another one here. And make that two. Okay, let's grab this before he gets away. Hooking. Well, that definitely does work. You can keep two or three of them going at the same time. Yeah, this guy's going to be a good fighter. Let's see if we can't get this one cast out there. Good measure. Yeah, the more of these we have going, the more of them we can get. Alright, there's one of them. 49 pounds. 2266. Okay, we have messed with this one for a while. Let's see if we can't get him in a little closer. Yeah, he's really weakened up. And there's the second one. That takes it down to five more. Holy float, number of fish, a float tackle. Yeah, this guy's weakened up quite a bit too. Yeah, we're almost to midnight, so that's when we want to start fishing for the bowfin. We managed to pull in. Yeah, he's coming. All right. 56 pounds, 2574. Yeah, he was a big fella. Let me. Yeah, these guys are monsters. I don't know if you can get a better lighting for the moon behind you. Maybe, yeah. Yep, 
That's the Yeti, Albano Yeti guard. Albano Yeti, 65 pounds. And I just noticed that there is pumpkins behind me. So I might be able to get some goodies out of there. Ooh, we got another roach spoon. That's nice. Let's check out some of the other pegs, see if there's anything there. There's not a pumpkin there. Is there one back here hidden somewhere? No. Might be just the one. Yep, yeah, unfortunately. Just one pumpkin. Yeah, we're not going to be able to get too many fish in here, guys. Unfortunately, we are down. I We've almost got 500 pounds of fish. Lordy. Yeah, we're going to fast forward it to midnight. Now, let's see. Switch over to the other mission. Now you can untrack these missions. It'll hold on to however many you've caught. So you're not going to lose anything. So let's go ahead and see what we can do about catching these bowfin. At least a few of them. Because honestly we are going to fill up this net. There's not much we can do about that. I don't know if they're just regular bowfin or if they're special bowfin or Yeah, I'm gonna try the stop and go. If we don't get anything here, we're gonna go over to another location which the bowfin seem to be easier to catch off the lures. Nah, it wasn't too bad. If that's what I, what I've got here. This could just as easily be a largemouth bass. No, it's a bowfin. Trophy bowfin. Not bad. Yeah, you can't get really a good look at them, but not a bad fish. There's one. Yeah, see, it's already up to 507. Okay. Not too bad. Get some good bites. Another bow fin. Two of thirteen. Oh, and I'm leveled up to thirty-six. Level thirty-six. Now we get six, seven ounce tiger spoons. Point two floral and the bigger Brutus. Bigger galaxy cast. 16 foot crankbait, the Vault 7, which means we can now carry 7 rods. .07, the bottom sniper, finally the first of the bottom rods. Titanium leaders, bigger ones, larva. Very nice. Yeah, I think I might go to that other place because 
I'll show you where this is where the best place to catch the bowfin are like it's, it's always on the left it seems like but anywhere along here you're gonna get them especially right around here I would get them all the time when I'm trying to catch largemouth bass on to hooking them instead There we go. Yeah, I believe we got one this time. I think this time I'm going to go ahead and mark that spot. Let's see here. All right. Yep, pretty much exactly where I thought it was, right there. For some reason that always gets them. There we go. Ah, a largemouth bass. Yep, they're out there too. Too bad they don't count. Let me see if I can get out the dock a little bit. Maybe I won't get that snagged up so easily. All right, I think, do I have one? Yes. Well, that's four so far. Anyway, I'm going to keep going on here, guys. See how many of them I can get before this fills up. There we go. That was caught in last minute there. That, my friends, is one full net. <laughs> I cannot carry any more. I've basically got four more of the Yeti Gar to catch and five more well no six more of the bow fins but we can't get we can't hold any more that's it so we're gonna have to go ahead and advance time but we managed to pick up 26,000 cash and a lot of XP and we are going to complete that mission, but anyway guys, that was the first of the two for the Everglades. Actually, that is only two, I'm sorry. There's only two missions, but we are getting close, guys. We have got just a few more to catch in that one, and then we can move on to some of the others. I think the next one that we're going to take on after this is completed, we see seven bow fins. Probably is going to be the green ogre scale one. That's a Naharan, and you've got basically to do the same thing you did here, only you're using the hawk claw hook and dead mice, and then the black vampire fin using rotten minnows and an eagle claw. So all those are very similar to the albino one. But we're going to look at those probably over the next few days, and in the meantime, I'm going to get caught up on all the other fish to complete these missions. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And we will be back with another episode of the Fisherman Fishing Planet. 
curse of the frankenfish. So until then, guys, I will see you later. <laughs>